peripheral blood. Here we can see a smear of human blood as is depicted in the atlas. Uh, a, a common cell you will see is a neutrophil. There's another one there, kind of grayish cytoplasm, a lobulated nucleus. The nucleus is in lobes and really dark staining uh, heterochromatin is what we see. Another popular cell is a lymphocyte, which is mostly looks spherical with a little bit of cytoplasm around it. Also, we see an eosinophil, uh, which is similar to the neutrophil, other than it has uh, these other granules, eosinophilic granules. In contrast to the eosinophil, we see the basophil. The basophil has blue granules, very large granules, kind of like the eosinophil but it has the blue granules and also it's hard to see the nucleus uh, of a basophil because the granules do not lay to the side as they do in the eosinophil. The granules are actually above the nucleus and it impeding us having a clear view of the nucleus. A couple more lymphocytes and here we see a monocyte. Now a monocyte is a cell that's in blood that makes a, a macrophage eventually but it's uh, a cell in the blood. And so we can see those here, eosinophil, basophil, monocyte, lymphocyte, and then again we can see a hieromag of his drawing. A neutrophil, it has granules inside there, a lobulated nucleus, eosinophil with big granules, uh, basophil with big blue granules, and some granules are above the nucleus, as you see, which impeded, impedes your view of the nucleus, lymphocyte, uh, and monocytes, as we see there. Now, if we look at those in human blood, this is for white blood cells in blood, we see the eosinophil. Uh, we see the big eosinophilic granules. In contrast, we see the basophil with the granules. You can see where the nucleus is bound down there and below, but the granules impede our view of it, uh, of, the, of the nucleus. It is a lobulated nucleus and big blue granules. In contrast, the neutrophil has a lobulated nucleus, as you see there. It does have granularity, uh, but the granules are much smaller than that of the eosinophil or the basophil. Then we have a monocyte, mostly euchromatic nucleus, a lot of cytoplasm associated with it, and a lymphocyte. It's mostly spherical. It looks spherical at light microscopic level at least. And then we have a, a small rim of cytoplasm around it. And so in comparison to our drawing, uh, these are... Uh, neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, lymphocytes, and monocytes. So if we look at one of our slides uh, 113 and have these slides up here as a reference, we can see that these uh, cells here are indeed neutrophils, uh, monocyte, and then these guys are lymphocytes, More three more neutrophils here. So if we look at the human blood and sizes of thing, you see that the red blood cells are the smallest. But of the white blood cells, you got the neutrophils, the monocyte, uh, eosinophil, basophil, about the same size, and they're larger than is a lymphocyte, except when you have a large lymphocyte. Sometimes a lymphocyte can be quite large. And the smallest formed elements would be the platelets, and here we see platelets. So we see uh, lymphocytes, neutrophils, monocytes, eosinophils, basophils, uh, and the different components there. I look at 110 again. Uh, again, use this as a reference. We have the uh, monocyte, neutrophils, lymphocyte, uh, neutrophils, neutrophil, neutrophil, uh, maybe large lymphocyte, uh, another neutrophil. In this slide, we see three neutrophils. Not sure if that's a uh, eosinophil, I'm not sure. Certainly those are three neutrophils, another two neutrophils, and a basophil. So we see a basophil there with the granules hard to see. Here again we see uh, two cells, lobulated nucleus, both of them. This is eosinophil and a neutrophil. Uh, slide 113, another monocyte uh, in through here and there. Uh, uh, lymphocyte, 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 lymphocyte neutrophil and we can see some little small things in here which are the platelets. Uh, another monocyte, a nice monocyte, a nice monocyte here. 
uh, lymphocyte red blood cells uh, and the smaller units here we see are indeed platelets. Uh, neutrophil, monocyte, lymphocyte. Uh, and if we look at uh, the lymphocyte in a carbon replica transmission electron microscopy, we see it, there's a light view, there's another light view, this is a lymphocyte, little rim of cytoplasm around it, big nucleus, mostly spherical. Uh, in the nucleus, we can see the nuclear envelope, the outer membrane, the inner membrane, and we can see nuclear pores. We can see nuclear pores, one of the things that we're supposed to see uh, today. Um, here, as we look at the different cells in the, in the blood, uh, we can see uh, the lymphocytes came down through a series and ultimately produced lymphocytes that we saw uh, in the blood. Uh, also, we can see uh, the, the red blood cells coming down through here, losing its nucleus, and then end up to be uh, uh, erythrocytes. In contrast, we have the uh, monoblasts, which give you pro-monocyte, pro-myelocyte, and then uh, these cells would either make the eosinophil, neutrophil, or basophil. All those cells are from the same lineage of cells. The first ones of these cells are spherical. These are more oval uh, in shape, more so than what's depicted here. So if we look at the bone marrow, uh, we can see some cells uh, that have a spherical nucleus. Here's one right here. Uh, and then there's another one, a darker nucleus. There's another one, another one there, and there's another one. All these are, are part of the red blood cell line. Here we can see a, a larger one here, uh, like a polychromatic normal blast, and then these were a normal blast in through there. If we look at these with the electron microscopy, we can see a nurse cell. Here's its nucleus, and there's a, the nurse cell inside there. And we we can see some polychromatic normal blasts. You can see nuclear pores still attached, but the nucleus uh, is condensing, uh, ultimately to be removed from these cells. And these cells are polychromatic because they have ribosomes and they still have uh, uh, hemoglobin is being added, but they still have some ribosomes associated with hemoglobin being pink, a ribosome being blue, that makes them polychromatic. As you get on down further, uh, the, the ribosomes have been reduced and you have the orthochromatic normal blast uh, like we see uh, here and here. Um, if you look at the bone marrow again and look instead of looking for spherical nuclei, you look at those with the oval nucleus, oval nucleus. Those are the ones that's gonna set uh, and gonna be granular sites. So you can see an immature one here, immature one here, and this is uh, more mature, more mature, and finally you get some mature neutrophils that we see here. So again, if we look at the bone marrow, we can see uh, different phases of neutrophil development. Uh, in the bone, in the blood itself, you see the mature neutrophils is what you see in the blood, but this is the marrow, and we're looking at the marrow over here. So we see some lymphocytes, some uh, 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 erythrocytes, some red blood cells, uh, also, we see some orthochromatic normal blast about to pop out some things. A reticular site, which is a, a, a precursor to the red blood cell, but uh, it's uh, uh, more developed than is the, uh, um, the normal blast that we see here. Finally, you get the red blood cell. But also here you see a neutrophil developing. It's a lobulated nucleus, and we see some granules here. And these granules are much smaller than they are in this eosinophil. Eosinophil has very large granules, and the, and the granules have a crystalline core, a crystal in the core itself that we can see here. Uh, but here we do have specific granules as, uh, as well as these larger granules. The, the specific granules are kind of dumbbell shaped, as we'll see a little later on. So the cells that are not spherical will go into the lines of making uh, uh, neutrophils, uh, basophils, uh, or the eosinophils. And here we can see another electron micrograph showing a neutrophil being developed, a nurse cell into there, another neutrophil. We can see a specific granules, a dumbbell-shaped uh, granules, and an immature one. Again, it starts out with an oval nucleus, and then it becomes 
uh, a lobulated nucleus. Now in contrast, if it has a big blue granules, uh, and we can see them here, big granules without a crystalline core, uh, in this cell, this is a basophil. So if we uh, uh, EM8F, you see a host of white blood cells. Uh, lymphocytes are more popular in through there. We can see various lymphocytes. Uh, there's also a monocyte, has lots of cytoplasm, a euchromatic uh, nucleus with some heterochromatin around the edge. And then we see several neutrophils because that's what's in blood. We can see several of these uh, neutrophils inside there. We also see some platelets uh, as well. A higher mag of that showing you the monocyte with all the, the organelles ready to make a macrophage. Uh, and then these cells are neutrophils. There's a neutrophil here, 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 here. You can see the libellated nucleus. And these three are lymphocytes. Of their, even though they look brown, they're really not round at all as you, as you can see. Here another one showing you uh, the, the uh, specific granules, the dumbbell-shaped granules are the specific granules in the neutrophil. If we look at a cardiac uh, stomach with a chronic infection, uh, we can see lots of white blood cells. Uh, if Here's a little higher mag uh, uh, of uh, the view showing you a lot of plasma cells as well. Plasma cells will be producing antibodies to sure, of course, uh, be drawing and helping uh, the neutrophils eat up the cells. And here we can see a blood vessel uh, and in the blood vessel you see a lot of cells that are marginating. That is, they are attached to the surface of the, of the uh, membrane, this little venial, and they are going to migrate out uh, into this region where there is a chronic infection. Here you can see uh, these probably neutrophils, even though it looks like eosinophilic granules, they're probably neutrophils uh, going out through there. We see uh, um, a monocyte uh, in through there, a lot of cytoplasm, euchromatic nucleus, projections off uh, that would be associated with uh, development of uh, a macrophage for the monocyte. Uh, this slide 432 is one of lung. Uh, and also, is, uh, the, the animal has been fed the carbon uh, such that the macrophages have picked up a colloidal carbon and we can see uh, the macrophages in the air spaces there where they have actually, so that's a uh, uh, monocyte give rise to a macrophage and then one of the macrophages is going to be in the lung. We can see another one here, very important function uh, of these uh, cells. So uh, the monocyte a pro monocyte, monocyte, and then ultimately it produces a macrophage. Um, we also saw in a chronic, we saw the plasma cells, the lymphocytes uh, actually produce uh, the uh, plasma cell, so B lymphocytes produce a, a plasma cell. The next component is actually the megakaryocytes, which are producing platelets. Platelets do not have a nucleus in them, they're actually pinching off components. Uh, of the megakaryocyte, uh, the biggest, largest cell that you have in the bone marrow. And here at uh, 12C, we can see one of those megakaryocytes. There's this nucleus. It's multinucleated phagocytic cell capable of phagocytizing. Uh, it's a multinucleated non-phagocytic cell. Sorry. Uh, it produces platelets. And we can see all these different uh, components uh, in through there. Uh, that will facilitate um, facilitate the production of platelets. In fact, if you look at the cytoplasm, you can see there's little vesicles inside there, and that would be very conducive to pinching off uh, platelets associated with it. So we see the multinucleated megakaryocyte uh, producing, uh, production of platelets, and basically what happens, the cell is outside the bloodstream, but the projections of the cell are inside, and then eventually little ones are pinched off these projections. And here you can see the projections of the cells of the megakaryocyte processes uh, in the blood cells as they pinch off.